I'm Andrew Miller, and welcome to our first episode of the Oasis Byte series. Uh, today, we're going to give you a brief overview of the Oasis network, its kind of main components, and a kind of summary of some later videos that we're going to cover in this series. As you may have noticed, uh, you're currently in my bedroom. We are recording from home because, just like you guys, we're doing our best to stop the spread of COVID and flatten the curve. So. Um, uh, so apologize for the background. I think through the course of the video, you'll probably get to see uh, the many different rooms in my small apartment. So uh, enjoy. <laughs> uh, today I'm joined by Peter. He's our head of engineering. Uh, and he's going to give us kind of a brief overview of the Oasis network. Um, so Peter, we're, we're looking at this diagram here. Um, it kind of has two main components. Um, can you tell us kind of what those components are? Uh, and why why they're separate in this diagram and, and kind of what makes them special compared to other blockchains. Cool. Hey, um, glad to join you today, Andrew. Yeah, so um, so uh, a, a couple things um, that uh, that stand out um, in this diagram and can kind of help us um, explain what are some of the, um, you know, the unique features of the Oasis platform. Um, the first, um, as you can see, um, we have, you know, two main uh, types, uh, 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 two main entities here. Um, mm -hmm. Down in the bottom right, we have the consensus committee. Um, and then we also uh, are, uh, are illustrating a number of paradigms. Um, and so the term paradigm uh, is, uh, is something that we use to describe um, our parallel uh, runtimes, which mm -hmm. um, are the environments that actually run uh, compute um, on our platform, um, so think uh, smart contracts. Um, and so, um, one of the uh, one of the the key unique features of the Oasis platform uh, that uh, that allows us to uh, that allows us to uh, scale and uh, and support really high performance is uh, separation of execution and consensus. And so, um, and this is uh, this is being illustrated. Uh, uh, here in the diagram. And so um, the idea behind um, separating execution and consensus is that um, we uh, allow, um, you know, potentially heavyweight um, high performance uh, uh, computation to happen uh, without being uh, bottlenecked uh, by consensus um, while still uh, while still getting all the benefits of having an immutable ledger by uh, summarizing the results uh, of that computation and uh, and storing it on chain. Um, uh, so, and, so does that mean like, you know, you could have one pair of time that's maybe doing really fast, small transactions that's submitting uh, those summaries to the consensus layer. And then in parallel, you could have maybe one really pair of time that's running a very slow computation. Um, and both of those things could happen, like we said, in parallel without slowing each other down. Yeah, exactly. And so one of the um, one of the key design principles um, behind the OSIS platform was to um, was was to be modular and to be um, quite flexible to support um, uh, lots of different types of computation. And so mm -hmm. to really allow um, uh, different paradigms to uh, to define uh, their uh, their own uh, their own style and model of computation um, and uh, and support all of these. Uh, Different um, different types of computation um, in, in parallel um, without uh, you know without uh, blocking one, one with the other. Yeah, and one of those types, which is you know near and dear to our heart, is uh, confidentiality. Uh, so you know here we have an example of a confidential runtime. But can you give an example like you know at a high level, uh, you know why do we support confidentiality? Why is that important? And uh, and uh, you know how do we achieve that? Yeah, sure. So, um, you know, a, a, as you mentioned, um, uh, supporting computation over uh, confidential data was a um, was a key uh, uh, motivating uh, uh, motivating uh, property that uh, that we wanted uh, the platform to be able to uh, to support. Um, and so, um, the idea is we'd you know we'd we'd like to be able to utilize the um, all of the uh, benefits of doing, uh, you know, doing computation uh, on a blockchain platform, having the immutable ledger, um, mm -hmm. where um, you know, uh, where uh, results are all uh, fully transparent and can be um, can be audited, um, while uh, while also being able to support um, 
you know, a lot of important uh, use cases where um, you would uh, you would like to allow computation to um, to to happen over some uh, some some private uh, data that um, that uh, you can't uh, you know release um, in plain text uh, to the entire network, yeah. and so um, that's uh, that's that was the 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 motivating um, idea behind uh, confidential paradigms, um, mm -hmm. which were which we're illustrating here. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit um, a little bit about the consensus committee? Uh, you know, consensus obviously a very important aspect of any blockchain, but kind of what's what's unique about that, or maybe in our case, not unique about the consensus committee. Uh, sure, sure. So the um, the uh, the consensus committee um, uh, is a, uh, a a set of decentralized um, nodes that um, uh, their uh, their main duty is to uh, to to maintain the blockchain um, and append. Uh, new blocks to the to the blockchain. Um, in terms of the uh, the uh, the the mechanism that we use for consensus, um, it's a pretty standard um, proof of stake uh, uh, consensus. Uh, uh, Where uh, it's a, it's a fully decentralized um, network of mm -hmm. um, up to about a hundred nodes that um, that are running a uh, a uh, well vetted and and well tested uh, consensus protocol. Very cool. So we're going to learn all about the consensus layer, uh, the services it provides, and then the paradigm layer and really kind of the flexibility uh, and adaptability of that layer and its ability to support kind of a broad range of use cases. In later videos, we're also going to dive deep into confidentiality and show you guys kind of one example of uh, a confidential runtime and how it can uh, protect data uh, and keep it private. So. Encourage you guys to all watch the next three videos. We also have documentation, which I've linked to down in the description if you guys want to read on there with a lot more detail. Um, I've also linked to our website. Um, so if you're interested in running a node or you want to apply for a grant or learn more about the vision of the Oasis network and the foundation that supports it, I invite you to visit that link. We've also got uh, white papers, lots of interesting information there. So, um, you know, to, uh, so watch the videos, uh, provide some comments, feedback, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we're excited to, to get you guys involved. Uh, so thanks, Peter. Appreciate it. Um, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you in our next meeting. <laughs> thanks, Andrew. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.